Hey, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Helen and I haven't posted a video onto this channel in about five months, literally since the start of April, which wasn't a planned break at all. I pretty much just got swept up with summer. I went to three separate weddings in May, two of which were abroad. I went to see family. I've been socializing with friends, enjoying the sunshine here in Britain, and honestly, just spending a lot more money than I had planned to. Now, on this channel, I try to share tips about saving money, investing your money, also what I'm doing with my own personal finances. And I just feel that I really needed to rein in my spending, particularly after a very busy start to the summer. May, June, July were very expensive months for me. And what I found I was doing was trying to cut out any expense that I didn't need to be spending money on. I needed to rein in how much I was spending on a day-to-day -day basis and plan a bit more for the future. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about bad money habits that I'm quitting in summer 2022 to help save money. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please keep watching. So the first bad money habit that I'm quitting in summer 2022 is to cancel any subscription that I am not using. Now, this might seem like a really obvious tip to give someone about saving money, but when you actually sit down and go through all your subscriptions that you have, it's quite surprising how many you probably don't actually use to their full potential. So firstly for me, I surprisingly had two separate Amazon subscriptions. One was for Amazon Prime, $7.99 a month, which I was aware of, and then a second charge of $5.99 was hitting my account every month and I just hadn't been paying close enough attention to realize that I'd accidentally subscribed to an additional level of Prime and it was charging me separately $5.99. Now this seems very stupid and I'm not sure if everyone is going to have something like this in their account but when it comes to TV subscriptions make sure you've only subscribed to ones that you're actually using regularly or is actually bringing you value and not just some channels that you subscribe to when there was a seven day free trial that you then forgot to cancel. Now, luckily for me, I contacted Amazon and they refunded me the $5.99 for the past two months, I believe, that I'd been paying it because I simply hadn't used it, hadn't noticed it was coming out of my account, and I think it's something that's pretty common. So I thought I would mention it here because it's a top tip to save me $5.99 every single month moving forward. This is a little one that is kind of flipping that value perspective on its head. I was paying for a Pratt subscription every single month. It's uh, 25 pounds a month I believe subscription and you get up to five coffees or hot drinks for free every single day. Now that seems like a huge amount of coffees and obviously no one's gonna, well maybe you do drink five coffees a day, but I certainly don't. However, I wasn't using it as much as I should have been. There's not really a prep near me, but there is a prep near my office. So when I was going into the office, I was still buying a coffee and then when I would remember, I'd go to prep. Now, this was costing me a lot of money. I was spending about 200 pounds on takeaway coffees a month, which is crazy to then think that I also had a subscription to a coffee shop for free coffees, five coffees a day that I just wasn't using. So now I have made a rule with myself that in the week I can only buy prep coffees. Buy, I don't even have to buy them. It's just the subscription. And if I am buying a coffee out, it's because I'm sitting in the coffee shop. It's not because I'm taking it away. Now, since doing this about a month and a half ago, I go into the office every single day and I always get a prep coffee on my way in. And I really don't notice the difference in terms of my habit. I'm still getting a takeaway coffee every single day but the amount of money that I've saved has just been crazy and it feels so much better to get a coffee just by scanning your QR code rather than paying £3.70 up to £4 in London for a takeaway coffee. Oat milk latte is my favourite and that just was too much so yeah. The second subscription that I would say is quite a pesky subscription that you might not notice in your bank account is those that aren't charged every single month. Now if you do have a monthly budget and you are prepping a monthly budget each month and you're trying to stick to it or review it obviously if there's a charge that pops up every single month that you're not aware of then you're going to pay more attention to it right? Now, I was subscribed to a company called Astrid where they send you raises every three months. And because it was coming out of my account every three months via my PayPal as well, which isn't the usual account I would charge a subscription to, I really wasn't noticing it. Now, of course, they were sending me products every time that this payment went through and it was a pretty handy subscription. However, I certainly wasn't using the amount of raises that they were sending me every three months. I didn't need that many raises and I'm not quite sure who would need that many raises, but I certainly have stocked up over the last 
nine months I think I've been subscribed to it and I have cancelled that subscription because you can just restart it when you need them again so you don't necessarily need to sign up to their monthly or three monthly six monthly subscription you can just cancel and then start again if you need a top up so that's one that I have definitely saved some money on and I think it was about $14.99 every three months so not a lot of money but definitely a saving the next bad money habit that I am quitting in summer 2022 is a bad habit that I have had for a few years now and I know I need to quit. So it's essentially coming up with a side hustle idea, starting to do the research and not following it through. That's pretty much the bad habit. I always have side hustle ideas, product ideas that I really want to launch. And I even go as far as reaching out to suppliers or producers, getting samples made up, ordering them to my house. If you have ever done Amazon selling or Etsy selling or anything like that, when it's a physical product, you'll know how much money goes in before you actually get that product up on the website and being able to be sold. So, I mean, maybe not, but I don't know if this is a thing that everyone does, but I certainly have a habit starting a side hustle and not following it through. I've had two that I continue to do today, but apart from that, all the others have just kind of gone to the waistline. A good example of this actually is recently I was looking into bath oils, you know, looking into spa products basically. It's a huge thing online to do clean beauty, clean skincare, and I had this idea of a range of bath oils that were all natural, vegan, and smelt beautiful that you could wash in the bath and would moisturize your skin and would just be beautiful. I reached out to a supplier, I was picking scents, I was ordering samples, I was looking into bottle types, I was ordering samples of the bottle types, I was looking into logos, I've designed a logo. So if someone wants to launch a bath oil company, then I've pretty much done all the research for you. I've got the supplies, I've got the products, just reach out to me. But I'm not gonna launch it, it's not something that I'm gonna do anymore. But there was definitely a cost attached to that. Now it's not thousands of pounds at all because it's just a small side hustle. And I'm sure if you are putting thousands of pounds into a side business that you're gonna launch, hopefully you've pulled together a budget and you've pre-planned it and you know how much you're gonna spend. But that is one habit that I do hope that I can quit this summer is coming up with side hustle ideas and not launching them but spending the money on them. So yeah. The next bad money habit that I am quitting in summer 2022 is too many money management apps. Now this is a little controversial for a finance channel as I have done so many reviews on different apps. I use multiple apps myself, but I was finding that I had too many that I was using. There were ones that were tracking my spending. I had different savings pots on different apps. I was accessing different apps a day and I was also spending different things on different cards. For example, all of my travel goes on my Chase card, but then anything I split with my partner goes on my Monzo card and then all my payment goes into a different card. So it was getting very confusing. And on the flip side, it was becoming a bigger challenge to then track what I was spending my money on and how much I was actually spending in a week. Because Monzo was telling me I was spending around 50 pounds a week, but then so was my Chase account, and so was my HSBC account, and so was this account, and so was that account. So when you add it all together on a weekly basis, it was a bit too much for me to keep track of. So I decided to streamline the apps that I use. I have my Chase account, which now has both my savings and my current account on. I have my Monzo, because as I said, I split a lot of things with my partner, but I have a certain amount that I put on there every single month and I don't add any more to it so that I can definitely keep track. Because what I was finding is that I would just tap my phone and whatever card would come up, I would use that one and it's such a bad habit to get into obviously historically you would have the physical cards and you could pick them out but with the tapping of the phone I was losing track of how I was spending so I have Chase I have Monzo and I have HSBC and that is it I have nothing else my Monzo also has my business account on there so everything is just within those three apps I have cut out all the others no tracking no tracing until I basically get the hang of it and get my spending under control the next bad money habit that I am quitting in summer 2022 is not checking when a contract ends. Because I saw this crazy stat on Money Saving Expert where basically it said that so many people 
don't notice when their contract ends on certain items and just let it roll over and you're just paying the same amount every single month like you're used to but actually you could negotiate a much better deal and I certainly fell for this too when it came to my green flag payments so I pay for green flag with my car every single month and I think I was paying about 11 pounds so it's not a huge charge anyway and certainly something that you can just ignore and you know is coming out of your bank every month but you don't have to do too much about it and it's just that kind of box ticking exercise particularly for me who doesn't drive that much but I did notice that my contract with them ended a couple of months ago so I rang them up to see if I could get a better deal and I did I now pay seven pounds eighty or something like that per month so it's only a few pounds a month saving but every penny counts right and that is definitely one that I thought was a really good tip if something maybe of a bigger value like your phone or something like that was out of contract and you were still paying a much higher price than you could actually be paying so those are the bad money habits that I am going to be quitting in summer 2022 to help me save a bit of money. I have been trying to save money over the last couple of months wherever I can because summer is expensive. I don't know about you, but summer 2022 has seemed very expensive and I am really grateful that I can cut back in certain areas. Now, I'm sure there are so many other bad money habits that we can be talking about and sharing tips on how to make some savings here and there. So if you do have any tips, please do comment below because I would love to hear them. And thank you so much for watching, particularly if you have watched any of my other videos and you're here still watching my videos thank you so much and i will see you very soon Bye.